what my friend is Jeff. <laughs> it's a fox. What? It's an it. I thought it was a cat. So did I, that's why I stole it. And then she was like, it's a fox. And I was like, well, it's mine now. <laughs> <laughs> that was that conversation. <laughs> She's like, I stole it. I stole the jumper. I was like, what size is this? She's like, oh, I think it's like an extra small men's. I was like, this might fit me. It's like a close fit, like mm-hmm. jumper thing. I was yeah. like, oh, I'll take it. So I put it on my, and it's a cat? Hell yeah. She's like, actually, it's a fox. And I'm like, actually, it's mine. <laughs> left her house <laughs> Actually, it's it. mine. Bye. Bye. <laughs> left house wearing See ya. It. There was no fighting to be had. She's like, right, whatever. I was like, fuck. Well, I mean, what? If, if, it, if it didn't fit her, then, hey, you know, what are you going to do? I feel like this works like, so if you steal confidently, no one will stop you. It's true. It's true. You see those people who, like, jack all the, the food from, like, you know, a grocery store? Oh, yeah. And then they just, like, walk in, they take it. Yeah. No one says anything. Mm -mm. When you have that strong, like, air of confidence around you, no one can be like, hold on a minute. Because if I walk balls confident into a store, Mm -hmm. pick up an apple, take a bite out of it, sort of walk out, no one's going to be like, "Uh, that was theft. They'll be like, oh, he must have put that apple there before. Right. Because no one one would do that with such confidence. Oh, he owns the store. Okay. (laughs) He, it makes sense. He is 7-Eleven. Yeah, this right. His store. 7-Eleven. <laughs> They're talking about like a grocery store. It's 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven. Oh, this man knows the manager. <laughs> we can't fuck with him. So. You, you just look like an absolute fucking hobo. You have like a ripped <laughs> jacket wearing a toque. It's like 45C outside, like, human as fuck. And like, you're like, what? Who the fuck is this guy? You have like that, that like long, oh, the big wispy old. beard. Yes, yes. Like, ah, oh, a learned man. Mm. <laughs> a man, a scholar among he's, us. He's come down from the mountains to dispense his wisdom. He's a monk. <laughs> Security guard tries to stop me, and I'm just like, excuse me. He's like, I'm very sorry, sir. You, you, hit, you hit him with your, your stick with the metal rings on the end? <laughs> oh my god, yeah, the monk stick. The monk stick. <laughs> guy's like, whoa. Sorry, I didn't realize you were a monk. <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> I still want to be in the afterlife. <laughs> Okay. We're not trying to fuck up my chances later on. I've already fucked this chance what up. What a way to curse people, like, by ruining their chances in the it, fucking in the afterlife. afterlife. Man, if I had the power to ruin people's chances in the afterlife, I would... Oh my god. No. 100%. I mean... So I don't believe in that kind of shit. So if someone was like, I'm ruining your chance in the afterlife, I'd be like, okay. I think I've ruined my own pretty... Pretty well. I think I've done it already. Like, you don't gotta... Like, be good. Right. Like, honestly. Fuck me. Oh, shit. Um... Welcome back to Tokyo Friends. <laughs> Fuck. Ah, it's only three minutes in, whatever. Welcome back. Do we get silence? Do we need some silence? Yeah, we don't need silence, whatever. We'll get at the end. Yeah, yeah. I'll just let the, let the mics play for let like the half a second. Let the mics play half a second at the end. Yeah. Guys, welcome back to Tokyo Fresh. Jordan Green. I should, say, I should say, welcome back, Jordan, oh, to hey dude. Yeah. Tokyo. Well, dude, it's been, it's been a while. Or technically in, um... not Tokyo, but whatever. Yeah, we're more or less in Tokyo. I was gone. I went traveling for the week. Mm. Dude, it was sick. Met some people, made some friends. Oh, that's good. As always, that's kind of how I travel. Yeah. Drank no, a I lot. Mean, drank a lot. A lot. Man, I forget that. Man, you sent me You sent me a fucking picture. I think it was like Wednesday night or something. And you're like, how's a man supposed to drink fucking tomato, was it tomato, tomato and lemon? Tomato and lemon sour. And I'm like, <laughs> where the, I'm like, one, where the fuck are you getting this? <laughs> Two, why are you drinking at like <laughs> 5 p.m. on a Wednesday? And then, and then you're like, I don't have work. And I'm like, oh, yeah, right. I don't have work. Leave me alone. It's like the whole week off to travel and relax, basically. I was working every day anyway. Like, mm-hmm. I took a the Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday is basically holiday, right? Yeah. Oh, for me anyway. So I took the Wednesday off. And then on the Wednesday, I had a meeting that I had to go to anyway. So, mm-hmm. so I was working. Yeah. And I had to do other work as well. So I was working. Then on the Thursday, Someone from my company emails me. And like an hour before the email came in, I finally thought, okay, let me set my email to like holiday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Come on holiday, leave me alone. So I sent it to that email and literally an hour later, an email comes in from a guy like, hey, can you translate this shit for me? I'm like, bro, I'm on holiday. So I see the email on my phone and I'm like, <laughs> holiday email, good job. Now I don't have to do it. Motherfucker sent me a line message. Mm-hmm. and it was like this needs to get done like can you translate this thing for me and I'm like I mean yeah yeah no. but like no when do you need to buy he's like are you working tomorrow I'm like I ain't working till Monday 
my man. So right. I know what you want from me. And he's like, oh, it needs to be translated. I'm like, fuck, I'll fucking do it. Fuck, I'll do it. Fuck, yeah, okay, I'll do it. Because, like, at this stage, it was kind of like, I have no choice but to do it because it needed to get done and no one else could do it. Kind right. Of so I did it. And I was like, this isn't a holiday if you guys are making me do things. like Right, exactly. You know what I mean? Nah. I, man, if I get shit like that, I just don't answer. Mm. I'm like, oops, sorry. I was gone on holiday. My bad. I wouldn't have answered, but he's a bro. So I was like, fuck. That's why he has my line, because he's a bro. Right. So I was like, if if he came to ask me, clearly no one else could do it. Mm. And it was only like one sentence, so I was like, okay, I'll do it for one sentence. Oh, if it was one sentence, I would have, like I wouldn't even said anything. I would just translated it. It was, it was a hard sentence, dude. Couldn't have been that bad. It was like, a, it had the word exhibition in Japanese. Yeah. So what? Katakana? Nah. Kanji. Ah. Uh. I know, right? Fuck. I read it once. I read it again. And I was like, the fuck these motherfuckers trying to say? And I finally worked it out. They were like, ah, oh, these exhibitions are rotating, and thus they like they they constantly like running right. out. Like, mm-hmm. New exhibitions come in every once in a while. Yeah. And I was like, how do I put that into like five words in English? And then I found it, and I was like, okay, we're done. There you go. Yeah, that was it. Then I was like, Ugh, I'm trying to pay Apex. Fuck. <laughs> let me be. God damn it. Let me be fucking Nito. Like for one week, let me pretend I have no job and no responsibilities. But yeah, that was it. How was your civil week? What did you do? Four days. Uh, so. On yeah okay yeah on Sunday mm. the Sunday me and my girlfriend went to a Banksy art exhibit. No way! How was it? It was all right. I mean, I'm I'm not an art exhibit person, and I don't really like yeah. care about Banksy in the way that like other people seem to give a shit. And I think that that me and Banksy would be very good friends because he does have a painting that says you fucking idiots pay for this shit. Like, literally, he has a painting where it's, like, an auction house, and they're, like, uh, the auctioneer's just, like, you fucking idiots pay for this shit? I'm like, yeah, dude, I I get you. I feel it. I'm like, yes, because... Really? I have, like... Holy shit. It's, it's so weird, because everyone uh, is very, like, up Banksy's ass about, like, being this, like, amazing artist and, like, very, like, oh, his... His things are, like, commentary and critique on, like, police and, like, social justice issues mm-hmm. and this, that, and the other thing. And I, like, look at, like, 90% of his work and I just go, man, that's basic. <laughs> this stencil. basic. Yeah. Some stencil shit, like, boy. Fuck. I mean, it's it's fine. Like, technically, the art is fine. Yeah. But it feels very, like, on the nose. It's a little bit ham-fisted. Yeah. In its, like, meeting where... Mm-hmm. I don't want to be like, it's fucking normies. Yeah. Fucking normies. But yeah, fucking normies. Like, yeah. they're like, oh, I've never, I've never been moved by this policeman who has a smiley face. It's like. <laughs> do you remember, do you remember it's like, it's like, um, you have that uncle that's lived like in the deep fucking South his entire life and he's just found out that racism is a thing. Right. And it like Thanksgiving year together and the uncle's like suddenly like kind of woke, but only kind of woke to like yeah. things. And he's mm-hmm. like, hey, David, do you hear about these, uh, these things with, Black people, black. Am I am I saying it right? Black people. You know, some people don't like them. That's weird. <sighs> I know. I just found out last week. It's like that. It's like yeah, 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 my man. We've known this for like a hundred years now. Like I, I think like for me, the the stuff that I did see at his ex- his. It's not even, like, an official exhibit. It's an unofficial exhibit of his works. Don't they just steal his stuff? They... Kind of, basically, yes. Fuck like, me. Okay, here's the thing. Yeah. I understand why he would be pissed off about stuff like that, because mm. there's literally, now that he's he, they, whoever mm. Banksy is, mm. um, is, like, a popular street artist, right? There's, like, people where if, like, Banksy puts up a fucking, like, mural on the side of the wall, some company will, like, buy the fucking wall from the building yeah. and, like, cut it out with, like, industrial fucking, like, saw blades and shit and mm-hmm. just cut it out of the wall. And he's just like, why would you do that? He's you like, guys bro, are cunts. Come on. Stop. stop. Don't, Don't do that. Stop it. Yeah. Man, Banks needs to come to my fucking house and draw on it so we can... <laughs> make make $50 million. Make some fucking money so I can yeah. get this shit cut out of my house. Like, I'll yeah. Do- like, I, I don't know. His art is fine, but I, I just, like, I really don't... I, I don't understand... Here's the thing. Mm. His art is fine, mm. but I don't understand why he's popular. Because 
the the political and like socioeconomic messages in their art is kind of like Duh. yeah okay yeah. yeah it's very like baseline like police bad mm-hmm. starving kids Ethiopia bad bad that's a fucking racism bad. not good yo listen that is a Tokyo fresh fucking yeah stance. it's racism, like okay not yeah dude like fucking preach the choir. I fucking know. You you have, in a sentence, unlocked my entire view on the art world. I don't understand it, and I don't care. Yeah. So there are so many times... At least, like, at least Banksy understands that it's pretentious. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. At yeah. least he understands that. I remember I was in a, this modern art exhibition my friend dragged me to, and I was so confused, and I was so, like, just exhausted being there. I took a fucking nap. Like, mm. I sat on the bench, and I took a nap. My friend was like, wow, you, you really taking it in? And I was like, mm? yeah. I was, yeah. I took, a nap, I took too much. It just it. Whew. I was overwhelmed by how fucking up everyone's else's ass. Everyone was being. Yeah. There was like a box with like a spoon inside of it, and people were looking at this thing like, mm-hmm. I was like "This what fucking, is, this this fucking piece antiques my, roadshow. What the piece... fuck's going on in here, dude? Like, why are we looking at this fucking this beast to my soul? Like, man, remember that time we had soup? Fuck me, man. Yeah. That's what. So I, I don't know, man. More than not, it's one thing, but even like traditional art like i look at it and i'm like yep that's a painting yeah yeah kind of i'm i'm a little bit the same way like yeah uh, he I, I was surprised actually by the amount of art that was actually there because i've seen like the big you know popular banksy art yeah. like the the girl with the heart-shaped balloon and and uh yes other other similar type things art but things, yeah. there was way more art there by banksy than i realized existed no way which is kind of interesting mm. but none of it i was like wow i put this on my wall like zero percent i think i think when my last time i went to an art museum and i was like that's fucking some good art i think more like traditional mm-hmm. renaissance do you call it maybe i don't know like paintings of things i like uh, I like when people are like, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to paint a very realistic painting of these mountains. And I they put it in a museum and I'm like, that's a fucking nice photo uh, of the mountains there, bro. Like The nice. Bob Ross. Ooh, the Bob Ross. It's good. He's good. Hmm. Go to museums like, yo, this, this, this portrait of this beautiful woman? Nice. This, this fucking picture of this dude eating some cake. Fucking sick. But then it's like, look, there's a clown and he's exploding and also... It's it's in jelly, right? Like, why have we done this? You, you've added you've added too many layers. Yeah, yeah. Modern modern art is horseshit. But that's fucking hilarious, dude. I love that shit. Modern art, yeah, like the shit, like uh, fucking what is it? There's like that fucking toilet that has like paint on it. Was it like a cow cut in half? Or yeah, like there's that? something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, Recently, yeah. I've seen something where like someone took a fucking like old He Man figure and then blew it up to like. 150 billion percent so it's like life size okay hang on i'm down i'm down and, th- this. and then they like just like threw paint on it and i'm like okay like wait is this they they re they rebuilt he-man life-size he-man no so they took like a, a he-man like a 1980s like he-man a, a figure toy. yeah yeah and they made scanned a bigger... it into a computer yeah and then, like, 3D printed, like, a oh, bigger version. Hell yeah. It's like Battle Cats. Yo, fuck yeah, He-Man dude. He-Man riding Battle Cats. Yes. And then And then they just threw paint on it and it looks like shit. No. It looks like absolute dog shit. What they should have done is everything up to that last step. Right. If yes. someone said to me... Yeah, but, that, but that's the modern art oh, part. Fuck, no. And that's why it's horse shit. No, if someone said to me, Jordan, there's an exhibition where a man is taking old toys, blowing them up to fucking life size, and just putting them on display... My first, yeah, that'd be cool like, shit. Let's go. How much is entry and where is it? I gotta see that shit. I wanna take a photo right. next to life size fucking He Man. That's cool as shit. Yeah. Fuck. But no, <laughs> couldn't do that. I have to make it art. But like, really, what what message are you sending? He didn't like He Man when he was a I, child. No, but the, the thing is, the whole <laughs> exhibition is of toys that he liked in his childhood. I wish you. So those listening could see my face drop just then. I was the like, fuck is that? Man, I hate art. I said it before on this podcast. I'll say it again. That's I, I hey, that's fair. I don't like art. I'm not. I'm, I just don't like it. I find myself scrolling through like art Instagram a lot, and I'm like, this stuff's good. Like, I'm like I like this. I like what you've done here. This is pretty right. nice. And then right, right, right. I don't know. I feel like this chair is very squeaky. It is. That's okay. It's very similar to music. I like what I like. You know? Yeah. What's yes. 
when it comes to art, there's more stuff I don't like. So, uh, apart from the the Banksy Museum you were forced to go to. Actually, someone invited me to go to. I mean, I wasn't forced to go. You were asked to go and you accepted. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Being, being forced sounds like someone's holding a gun to my head. Yeah, it wasn't a gun. It was just a knife. Knife, yeah. It wasn't even that sharp. It was a spoon. <laughs> spoon. No, no, no. I, I like going. It was, it was interesting. Like, I didn't know what to expect. Because, mm. like... In my mind, before going there, I'm yeah. like, Banksy has five paintings, so, like, really, really, what are we going to see? I yeah. really didn't know. I guess I didn't know as much as I know now about, mm. about Banksy's, uh, like, art portfolio. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I'm like, oh, okay, he's got, like, five pictures, and we'll, like, look at the five pictures, we'll be done in ten minutes, and then we'll go home. And we'll go grab some lunch. Buddy. Yeah, exactly, hey, right? Dude, hell yeah, But, dude, no, yes. yeah. I mean, there there is some stuff that I like in his his like art portfolio but like some of it is is the things that i like the most is the stuff that isn't doesn't have like a direct political or like socioeconomic or like racial message Mm -hmm. where it's just him doing art like Mm -hmm. whatever art and i think like those things came out more interesting than other the other more direct things yeah i get that i feel like with so much sort of going on in the world mm-hmm. like people making art that screams like political messages it's like we know like back in like if you go back like maybe 10 20 years when cert- some people still weren't aware of the injustices and you were like look at this art we're making about this thing raising awareness you'd be like i get it yeah but now it's like yeah dude bro we know everyone knows and those who say they don't know know and are turning a blind eye to it we don't know mm. like making more things that are saying like hey this stuff's happening, guys. It's like we know. Talk about something else. There are yeah. Other you don't have you don't have to tell me. Yeah, you don't got to tell me about like racism happening in America. It's been happening for a while. We all know. <laughs> Just talk about it's a couple hundred years. Couple hundred years. You can talk about the Uyghur the, the Uyghur Muslims in yeah. China. A lot of people, not a lot of people know about that. Really? Because I feel like that's kind of a hot man. People are dumb. People don't know about it. Fair. It's okay, weird. that's fair. That's fair. It's fucking weird, like that, or like. Syria's still on fucking fire. Yemen's getting bombed the shit out of right now by the US. Like, there's a lot of shit going on that we can pretty much, like, put more attention to. Either way, America's fucked. Hey, brother, speaking very quickly, very quickly, America. Uh, what, what's the one name who got shot down by the police? The, the Tamara, Tamara Bryce, I believe. Was it Tamara Bryce who got... Oh, gun- you mean recently? Yeah, who got gunned down in her bedroom or something. And, like, currently the, the, the cases... Breonna Taylor? That's the one. I'm th- there, dude, there are so many. There, yeah, there's so many. That, so, that's the fucking problem. That, there's so dude, many you can't even remember who's so who. So many people have been killed. I'm like, wh- which one got killed in this location? Yeah, like, it's exactly. Insane. But, um, the police fucking got away with it. Did you see that? Yeah, of course they it did. Insane. They, the guy got charged for the shots he missed. Yeah. Technically. I was like, this is insane. Fifty. Yeah, 15, 15 grand. Oh. Oh, no. America is fucked. And then people ask me shit like, oh, you didn't, you didn't go to America to be killed in my own bed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagine I'm in my bed. I'm playing fucking Super Mario Sunshine. Please come in. Kill me. Destroy my game. Ruin my save file. And they're like, oh, sorry. We thought you were fucking gang member Gangington and you were committing yeah. crimes. And I'm like, oh, man, I'm playing Super Mario Sunshine. <laughs> like, I'm just trying yeah. to beat missions. And like, the, the fucking... I, I don't want to get into it because like, we could be here We won't all, get into it. We won't get day. into it. This is but yeah, but like... About, yeah. You know, them being like, oh, yeah, well, uh, he fucking shot at us. It's like, oh, yeah. yeah, of course he shot at you Fuck because you bro. kicked Just down the fucking door in the middle of the night without identifying yourselves as police. Fuck what the down. fuck? What the fuck do you think he was going to do? What the fuck was he going to do? Right. Oh, hey, mate, you fucking robbing my house. Ooh, ooh. I don't know why he's British. I was, just, I, was about make, I was about to make him really British just there. I'm like, oh, my God, are <laughs> you breaking down my... Dude, right now, in your house, we're calling this podcast, if someone kicked down the door right now, we wouldn't turn and go, yes, can, yes, yes can you? we help you? Is that NHK? We ready to fucking fight. Like, yeah. man, I don't know. People are fucking stupid, I swear to God. But yeah, disgusting. We won't get into it. It's a lot. Like, if you guys don't know about it, man, I can't. Yeah, if you... D- I, I would be surprised if if people who are listening don't, don't know, know about, about it. it. Yeah, it's such a big thing right now. It's insane. We have a lot of listeners from America, actually. We got a lot of... Uh, yeah, dude, it's like 50%. From America, and a lot of them message me, and they're like, man, I gotta get out of America. And I'm like, bro, I feel you. I'm not even American, I yeah. feel you. Listen. Get the fuck out, dude. Come to Japan, it's chill. It's a fun place to travel here. Speaking of which. Speaking of which. I went to Niigata, dude. Yeah, you're saying. I went to Niigata! So I wanted to go to Niigata for a long time. Niigata. And there's this whole thing I do when I travel where I don't plan anything. Mm-hmm. 
which normally works out pretty well. Yeah. But there's like, I was in pretty like countryside area in Igato. So everywhere. Yeah, pretty much. It's like <laughs> complete countryside. Yeah. But, uh, so I get there. Oh man, before I even get there, did you see the double decker Shinkansen I was riding on? Yeah. Mother, mm-hmm. f- I didn't know they had those. Yeah. Technology has gone far. And it's an old Shinkansen too. I was yeah, like, why it's... don't, what the, why don't we have these normally? Like, it's only, it's only like some cars though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, it was crazy. Like, obviously I rode on the top because. Yeah. How could I not? Dude, it was fucking sick. But the one I rode, the double deck one, yep. every car was double decker. Oh, really? Hmm. Every single car. That might, it, I guess it depends on what line it is, right? Yeah. Like, if if there's enough people that are going in between the places that mm. weren't having a double decker one, that makes sense. Dude, it was a nice thing No, because I was going to Niigata, no one was on it. Yeah, I was going to say, when you when you showed that picture, there is nobody in any of the other seats. No one was on my train on the way there. I had, like, the entire thing to myself, so I'm sprawled out. Listening to music, taking view of the fucking countryside. Man, Niigata is so flat. Mm. Fucking flat. Like, it's insane how... It's, it's like... Hmm. All the way there. Which makes sense, because rice fields. Right. But it's crazy, dude. Like, there's some videos I took, and I'm like, I can see fucking Sendai from here. <laughs> it's so fucking <laughs> flat. I'm like, is that Sendai? Shit. That's weird, because, like, you go ten minutes outside Tokyo, and it's fucking mountains everywhere. Ma- yeah. Niigata's weird, like, Niigata is, like, tons of mountains, and you get a little bit outside of that, and it's just flat. flat. Like, it's crazy. And you're, like, you're on the Shinkansen going there, and you're passing these towns, and mm-hmm. you're, like, I could walk from one end of this town to another in an hour. Mm-hmm. It was, like, the tiniest little fucking mountain towns, like, little pasture towns and shit. Right. Dude, insane. And, like, sometimes, I, I do this thing all the time now when I'm, I'm on the train in the countryside going somewhere. And you see, like, an elementary school, like, a high school, a junior high school. Yeah. And the only thing I think is that, man, doesn't AOT work there? Fuck. That would suck. <laughs> like, shit, there's nothing around here. It's possible, I guess. Mm. Huh. I always look for it. I'm like, what if I can find the AOT in the few seconds that my train is fucking jolting through this station? Zips by. Yeah, I'm like, where is he? Where is he? It's like, oh, fuck, next time. Dude, always, I gotta... But yeah, Shingles and that was nice. Mm. Obviously, I got there. The first thing I did was... Drink alcohol. Drink, yeah, because I had to. Niigata's only famous for, like, Nihonshu, rice, fish. That took a while. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's all they're famous for. Nihonshu, rice, and fucking fish. So, obviously, you've got their full images on Nihonshu drinking thing at the station. Right. And it's basically, you pay, like, 500 yen, you get five tokens, you can drink any Nihonshu you like. Okay, yeah, they have something like that in Edogawa, too. Dude, it's cool as fuck, honestly. We drank, um, so I'm waiting around for it, I've got headphones on, like... Man, it was insane. We'll get there. I go inside, I start drinking Nihonshu. Random Oji-chan comes up to me. Yeah. Fucking no care in the world, stands in front of me, looks me dead in the eye, and just starts speaking in Japanese. Full, normal pace, native, like, style Japanese. And I'm like, my man, do you have no sympathy for me? Like, fuck, are you really not gonna start off the typical English? Hello, uh, where are you from? Nope. Fucking straight Japanese. I was like, I respect that. Let's fucking do this. So I'm talking to this man about Nihonshu. Then his two old mad friends come as well. Yeah. Then the old dudes are just basically like, ah, oh, who's this fucking foreigner you're talking to? And the guy's like, ah, oh, just, just some foreigners drinking Nihonshu. Thought it was cool. And he's like, yeah, he speaks Japanese. He goes, yeah, he speaks Japanese. And his friend goes, hello, do you speak Japanese? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like in Japanese, yeah, your friend just said I did. And he goes, yeah, you're right, he does. And I'm like, what the fuck is this conversation, dude? Your friend literally just goes, oh, you don't go to and he's like, hello, do you speak Japanese? He's like, your friend just fucking he, told me. He just you. wanted... That's the kind of friend you want to have, right? Because <laughs> yeah. when you... Because your best friends yeah. will always fuck with you. Yes, dude, right? I swear to God. That's when you know. When 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 your friend wants you to like look like a fucking asshole, yeah. Yeah. you know that guy's your friend. Dude, yes. So oh, I can yeah. understand why he's like, nah, I'll fucking believe you. I'll fucking believe you. I'm going to fucking test this shit. Yeah, I get that. So he didn't want it in English. I was like, yeah. And he goes, oh, you're right. He does. Fucking bastards. And then I ended up just drinking with these old dudes. Like the entire time I was there. It yeah. was fucking fun. Because we had like a little group in the corner. Mm-hmm. It was me. This couple from Osaka. Mm-hmm. They were fucking interesting. The girl like found out I was from London. Can you guess what the first thing she said to me? It wasn't Harry Potter. The first, like about London? About London. About the UK. Is it like a thing or a place? It was like a thing 
a thing. It was weird. Like it was. It was. I was. It was like it was. Man, like it was like why? Why this? Why this thing? What are you? What? Okay. Was it like some like weirdly specific UK thing, like Witherspoons or some shit? Oh, imagine that would have been sick. No, it was like I'll make it easy. It was like a band. A band. Yeah. From the UK. Yeah. Just so like U two or some shit, even though they're not from the UK. Fucking One Direction. Do are you... they from the UK? I don't even know. I think they are. I thought they were Canadian. Dude, I'm pretty sure they're from the UK. I mean, yo, they are because we we hate them. That's how I know. Because <laughs> I mean, everyone. <laughs> I mean, I mean. Everyone hates them, but we we especially hate them in the UK. But she goes to me, she's like, oh, where are you from? And I go, I'm from the UK, but I live in Tokyo right now. She goes, the UK? Do you know One Direction? I'm like, yes, we we all know One. She's like, I love One Direction. She starts talking about One Direction. I'm like, you know, I'm thinking to myself, like, didn't they break up? Like, Yeah, I don't don't think they're together anymore. Has no one told her? No, I was like, let me not tell her. Right. Let me leave her. Maybe the news hasn't reached the Japanese media yet. Let's just... Let's leave her. Because she's like, oh, I wanted to go to one of their live concerts. Da, da, da. And I was like... She doesn't know. <laughs> Not anymore, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're fucked up on that one, bitch. No, she was nice. But we had this little circle that we were drinking in. It was like... Um, talking about different Nihon should be like, like drinking, like chatting shit. Yeah. And they were like travelling around. So the couple's travelling together, the three old men travelling together. And look at me, and they're like, oh, who are you traveling with? And I'm like, just me. And they're like, it's just you? I'm like, yeah, like, alone? I'm like, yeah, like, by yourself. <laughs> that is what alone means, yes. Like, well, well, yes. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. And they were, dude, it was hilarious. Like, why? And I'm like, I hate people. <laughs> I'm like, ah, fair enough. And I was like, I'll explain to them, like, the style I travel in. And they were like, oh, that sounds really fun. And I'm like, no, no, not unless you're like, and if you're not someone who can travel like that, yeah. you're not going to have a good time. Oh, fuck no. Basically. But they were good. They're really fun people. Mm. We drank with them for a while. I saw them again like later on in town when I was drinking there. Yeah. But they were, dude, Nikata has some nice people. Like, fuck me. Nikata has some nice people. I feel like maybe it's only like Tokyo that people are just kind of assholes. Yeah. Yeah. It, may, it might be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. You... Mm. Like, I was walking up the escalator coming to your house today. My shoulder, like, brushed this man's shoulder. And he went, like, jolted. Mm. And I was like, are you okay? Like, fuck. Like, did you... I had that happen yesterday, too. It like, was the same fucking old man. I wonder. I, I, I don't know. Like, I was sitting... I wasn't sitting on the escalator. I was on the... on the Just le- sitting in the middle of the escalator, you know? As yeah. you do, had a beer cracked open. I'm from Shizuoka, take- so I don't give a fuck. So I was no. taking a shit on the escalator, yeah. <laughs> I just oh, love when it gets to the top and just gets. <laughs> <laughs> that's disgusting stuff. <laughs> hey, you so, said it. I'm sorry, go on. But no, uh, I'm standing on the left hand side of the thing, and like, I'm not any bigger than anyone else, and like, yeah. I, it was so bad. I was leaning like on the the railing part, right? So like, yeah. I'm my upper body's over top. This dude just fucking full on like hits me. Yo, what the just fuck? Goes, ah, sumi uh, Look at him. I'm like. Fuck you. Dude, fuck you, man. Like, shit. Like, how the fuck did you manage that? What a bastard. I've always, like, thought about this stuff. And I'm like... I'm like, some of this passive-aggressive shit that right. y'all do in Japan... Mm-hmm. You do that shit in London, you're gonna get stabbed. Like, people get stabbed for, like, um, like stepping on people's shoes and shit in London. Like, you can't... You can't go around to this passive-aggressive shit and be like... Oh, uh, sorry. Fucking, fucking barge this foreigner. And I said, oh, sorry. It's like, yeah, do try that in London. You're gonna get a knife through a fucking neck. I swear to God, don't do it. Mm-hmm. Don't do it. You Japanese, you're listening to this right now, don't do it. Especially in America. In London, you might get stabbed, you might survive. America, you'll get shot. Yeah. Can- Canada? Bear attack. Man, speaking of, speaking of getting shot, I saw a fucking picture. Oh, God. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, saw, I saw a fucking picture. I don't know where it was from, somewhere in America. Classic. And the, the caption was just like, why is this a thing? And it's a guy who he has like... You know, like, uh, if you're an undercover, like, or, like, Secret Service, like, agent, Mm. you have, like, the pistol, uh, like, holster that's, like, in your jacket. Oh, yeah. So it's, like, it's concealed and people can't see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? This dude is wearing two of them. Okay. 
one on the left, one on the right. He has fucking two pistols in there. And then he has a belt clip that also has two holstered pistols. He- and the person's just like... And he's, like, open carrying, right? Because it's legal in some places. Does he think he's fucking General Grievous? Yeah. Fucking useful gun. I'm like, one, one, if if you have to shoot an entire pistol's magazine before you kill somebody, you're a fucking bad shot. Two, if you need three other guns before you can hit your target, you fucked up. There he's gonna, like, so he gets the two guns out. He's like, like useless, but he throws the guns at Yeah, exactly, the right? He's like, I don't need these anymore. I, I got the, two like, more. He misses every shot with the bullets, but when he throws the guns, fucking like, perfect hit every it's time. Right between the eyes. Boom, 10 10. Pulls out the other gun, same thing again. Second, fourth gun knocks him out. I did it. I'm fucking. I'm the greatest marksman in the world. He had to make it light enough so that he could throw them <laughs> properly. He could throw the gun properly? Fuck. Fuck, yeah. Sick. Dude, I love. Oh, America's crazy. I love that shit. Fucking dude. what? Wild. I wish like Japan had that with like open carry with like swords. <laughs> just looking like Date Masamuni from like, Single Kubasra. Like, like, <laughs> fucking Date. six katanas. Yeah. Dude, yes. I'm gonna have like twelve katanas. I just be on the train, just like every step just like ching like a cowboy. <laughs> like ching ching. You just you look like you look like you have the fucking the golden halo the of Buddha, like, yes. but it's just katanas all the way around your back. <laughs> you get into a fire. No, don't fight him. Look look at all those swords. He must be a master. It's like nah man. <laughs> just just the collector. I just got all these swords. Me, Zoro only needed three. I need three. And to be fair, he only needs one, really. The other two are just flexing. Like, I mean, at yeah. this point, I don't think he needs a sword. He's probably just like... He's still, he's still, he's still waiting this motherfucker lifts. He doesn't need that sword. Yeah. He's fucking... He's good, dude. Shit. But nah, that's fucking sick. Uh, Nigata was good. That was fun. Um, oh. I made this tweet about... um, Like, so, Nigata's pretty countryside. Yeah, uh-huh. So, I don't think many foreigners visit there. Right. So, I visited there. And for those, you know, I'm like a black guy, I'm pretty tall got a big old afro and what you call a a super gaijin mm. what you call a fucking I'm, I'm, I'm next level guy i'm like the final boss you'd have to fight you're in. you're the you're the unicorn i'm the unicorn gaijin i'm freaking people out left right, right and center so i get off the train and you got that i'm walking through the station trying to find my fucking hostel for the night basically i swear to god nigata was not expecting this level of foreigner to grace their fucking prefecture like People were, like, stopping in the street and turning fucking gape jaw to look at me for a few more seconds. One kid goes, oh, Afro, and just stares for a few minutes. And he stands there, st- stops in his tracks, staring at me. And his friend's like, oh, we gotta go, come on. And he's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and he follows his friend, and I'm like, bro, you didn't, you didn't have to do that, like... It's chill, my man. So I decided what I need, David. This mm-hmm. happened everywhere. Like, on the street, trying to get, like, drinks and stuff. When I was drinking at night time, I, like, drunk... What would you call them? Like, like, like student-age Yankee guys? Yankee, yeah. Yankees fucking love me, David. It's bad. And the guy's like, oh my god, what the fuck? I'm like, yo, like, hey, Yungo? I literally said, yo. Mm. And he was like, hey, Yungo. He's like, you should know more? You should... He's like, let's drink together. Let's drink together. And I'm like, I can't. I gotta... I gotta wake up early tomorrow. And he's like, no, no. And his friends like, stop bothering foreigners. I'm like, is this thing this guy just does? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah. Probably. I mean, we've already had one of these situations near my fucking oh house. Oh my god, yes, dude. The power, it's immense. So I've decided what I need is, I don't know what they're called. So you know, like, um, back in like the days of kings and queens, and you'd have like someone go a sword. <laughs> Sword. Ah, a sword. Look at that. Stab. That'll fucking teach ya. Now I need someone to go ahead of me to the places that I'm going with like an old school trumpet and announce my presence oh, before I arrive. Like a like a, like a squire. No, fucking there's a squire. A squire, like a, a town crier or yes. some some shit. I need this motherfucker to go to Niigata. It's the place I'm going. Like four hours in advance. Sit down. This is like in today. This isn't modern day. This is right now. Right. But he's gonna wear like squire garb. Mm. Box on the ground, stands on that shit, old school trumpet. Da, 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 da. Hear ye, hear ye. <laughs> I want to hear that. 
Jordan, the Afro Green will grace the presence of Niigata from this time to this time. Da, 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 da. That's all I want, David. <laughs> I want him to go around the town and sing that I'm coming. So when I arrive... See, but what you should do is you should get the Japanese version of that. Oh, fuck yeah. Where he comes out in, like, a fucking, like, robe and kimono and it just goes, Yo! Oi! Dude, that's so good. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. What, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do. I'm gonna confuse the fucking town, David. Uh, here's the plan. I'm gonna fucking bamboozle this nation. The Japanese guy's gonna come first. He's gonna give the whole right. yo, pong pong. The whole Japanese the, spiel about. But what makes that sound? It's like fucking. It's, two, it's like a weird. It's two pieces of wood that go. Yeah. yeah. No one knows. No, no one knows. I, I actually I've seen a thing. No one knows. It is wood. It's like specially selected oh. wood for like its sound. They're like going through trees, like no, <laughs> literally, yes. Are you fucking serious? Yes, I wa- It was it was on TV, and they're talking about Are you it. He's like, serious? he's like, yeah, I bought a cherry tree, and we made like uh, four of these things, and this one sounded the best, so I kept that, and then threw the other ones in the fire. I'm like, you cut down an entire tree to make two sticks that make sound. Japan is Japan is weird, weird. dude. Fuck. Oh, it's the plan. So. Japanese guy goes first. Yeah. Gives the whole yoy pop up spiel. Walks down the town singing of my presence. Everyone's excited. They, they never tell the per- They never say that I'm a foreigner. They never say. That's a good call. What race. I- they don't know anything about me. So they're thinking, oh, a Japanese man's going to come. It's going to be great. Train rolls up. Doors open. Red copper rolls out. Everyone's fucking thinking, what the fuck? Who's going to come out? This train's going to be amazing. And then we do the entire song number from Aladdin to Prince Ali thing. And then- <laughs> <laughs> we confuse this town. And they're like, who? Yes, exactly. <laughs> like, who's coming out? I come off the train. They're like, ah, oh, it must be some royal person from the Arab nation. Someone comes up to me. Ah, oh, yeah. Are you Prince Jordan from the Arab nation? Like, That's racist. I'm from London. How dare you? <laughs> Let's confuse. You you have a turban on, but then you but then you pull it off, and the shape doesn't change at all. <laughs> Oh man, we need funding. <laughs> we need funding. All Your the things- curly shoes do not pay for themselves. Listen, man, that turban that comes off and has a perfectly coiffed afro underneath does not pay for itself. Them coifters need to feed their families, dude. Right, I exactly. Co- dude, I want this so badly. <laughs> this is my new thing I want. I want to confuse an entire small town constantly. By, by pretending to be Prince Ali. Yeah, all right. Fair, yeah. fair enough. But I just confuse them to what race I am. Like, Japanese guy comes in, starts <laughs> singing of my beauty. I, right. I then come in, I'm wearing, like, full, like, sort of Arab garb. Turns, I take it off, fucking Yankee tracksuit. I squat by the comedy. <laughs> I crack open a strong zero. <laughs> this, is me, this is me for the next three days. And just sit there. You don't move. <laughs> because all my, all my money was spent on the fucking soothsayers and the squire right, and the exactly. band. So now I have you don't have money to go anywhere? <laughs> yes. So Except for the convenience. So I just sit by the comedy, cracking strong zeros for three days. I mean, that works, right? <laughs> dude, that's the greatest fucking thing. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Fuck me. But I think it was sick. But I, I kept confusing, um... I kept confusing all of the, uh, all of the, Jap- all the Japanese people there. Because hmm. they're like, oh, it's, it's fucking foreigners here. We have to fucking deal with this English nonsense. And I came in, I'm like, yeah, I speak Japanese. And they're like, oh shit. This must be some half Japanese person. Cool. I'm sitting down, Chinese shit, I'm looking through maps and things. They're like, oh, did you just move to Toyama? I'm like, no, I'm traveling. Like, oh, from where? I'm like, oh, Tokyo. Oh, you're born in Tokyo? I'm like, no, London. They're like, oh, I see. Your Japanese mother gave birth to you in London? I was like, no, my black mother did. <laughs> like, and then your Japanese dad? I'm like, no, my dad's white. They're looking like, where does the Japanese come in? I know. I studied. And they're like, I don't get that one. The fuck's a book? <laughs> the fuck's a book, my man? Huh? Ben... Huh? Ben Kyo? Kyo? Today? Today you did what? Japanese? Don't get it. Don't understand. Doesn't compute. I think he means Ben Goshi. I think he means Ben Kyosha. <laughs> I think he means Benny Shoga. <laughs> I think he, Stop mean, I out, think he means Benny Shoga. <laughs> You're just so confused by every every place you go that has food. You just get like this small little bowl of pink <laughs> Benny Shoga and you're like... The fuck? Oh my god, that's only funny for people who know Japanese. I'm sorry. Benkyo is study, so Benkyo is much stuff. Like, if you're like, why did you, how how did you get good at uh, learning Japanese? And you go up, Benkyo is much stuff. Like I studied, they go up, Benny Shoga. Benny Shoga kimashita. Benny Shoga kimashita. Kimas. Benny Shoga kimas. Stop bringing up fucking ginger. Like stop it, stop it. 
Notice my hard work. <laughs> I would not say a word. I'd just eat the Benny Shoga. Oh, dude. Yeah. Time. Yeah. I'll be like, oh, hell yeah, dude. It's <laughs> fucking good. I like Benny Shoga. I fucking love Benny Shoga, dude. Yes. Like, oh, 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 no. Again? Man, I used to, okay. When I would get, like, a curry or something from, like, uh, uh not Yoshinoya. What's the fucking, um, what do you mean? Ma- ma- Matsuya. Yeah, them little red packs of Benny Shogo? Yeah, no, but like you, you'd be in in, oh, uh, in the store. Matsuya in the store and they have like the, the big like the vat. black vat the of vat Benny of Shogo. Shogo. Yeah, I'd bro. put Benny Shogo in my fucking curry. Mix that shit up? Yeah. Oh, you, yeah. It's fucking good. Yeah. It's actually it's good. So good. It's so and people are like, good. Uh, it's really weird and I'm like, yes, you're correct but it's also very good. I'm like, listen sir, this is what we call the secret menu. Yes. I'm gonna need you to leave. The restaurant immediately. I'm the CEO of Benny Shoga. Oh, Benny Shoga. <laughs> I need you to fuck off <laughs> for this correction, sir. This is the Don't correct- put it on the table if you're not going to make me eat it. Don't put it on the table if I'm not supposed to eat it, yeah. David. Fuck me. So the Benny Shoga goes. I come into like the bus, you know, all the Benny Shogas off the table. I'm like, excuse me. Where's the Shoga? Where's the Benny Shoga? It's like, man, you eat half a box every time you eat a cat cube. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even order a meal. <laughs> You add water and you mix the Benny Shoga. Into it. <laughs> it's out here. Gets to the point where like you like take like a spoon and you're just draining the Benny Shoga juice into your glass. That's disgusting. It is disgusting. <laughs> you just come inside the restaurant. You have your own special Benny Shoga fork you bring out. You just start wrecking the bowl. <laughs> Not- Sir, are you gonna order something? <laughs> oh, God, he's getting more Benny Shogar and shit. <laughs> Fuck. God, what a, what a power play. <laughs> just, just come in to eat the Benny Shogar, that's it. <laughs> to Hell eat, yeah. To eat the free Benny Shogar that's on the fucking table. Holy shit, what a power play. Oh, man. I was, uh, fuck, that's funny. I was saying this before, but like... <laughs> Um, Ningata is really famous for like fish. And, yeah. Like, um, fish, rice, and yonchu, that's it. Mm-hmm. So I got a restaurant. Um, it was the recommendation of the place I was staying. Pretty right. Nice, nice little place called Book Inn or something like that. Name sounds familiar. It was nice. It was on is Instagram. it a chain? I don't think so. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe there's just another place that had there's, the name Book Inn. Another, yeah, there's other, other places that have the same like, concept. So, right, okay. Yeah. So I'm like, I need a place to eat. She's like, this place is good. I was like, alright, I'll go. So I go there, I'm sitting down. And this wait, all the wages were women, apart from one guy. He was working upstairs. I don't care. So, all the wages that were serving my table were women. They were young, they were cool, they were like down to talk and hang out and stuff. It was pretty chill. So I got this woman. I'm like, I right, listen. I need like recommendations because I mean, Nigata. I'm only here for like two nights. Mm-hmm. What should I eat? And she's like, Nigata is it's it's rice and it's fish, bro. Like the sea's right there. I'm like, I right, bring me some sashimi. She's like, oh, we have all this sashimi. I was like, do you have like a plate that has like all the sashimi on it? She's like, oh, dude, hell yeah. She's like, you can also, you can, you can like customize it as well. I'm like, what's on this plate? She's like, give me the rundown. I'm like, ah, cool, cool, cool. I take, obviously, throw the fucking octopus out. That shit's disgusting. Get double salmon, because that shit's dank. Octopus sashimi is not. It sucks. Mm. It fucking sucks. Throw that shit out. Get double salmon. The plate comes, and I'm thinking to myself, like, I right, so like, when you go to a place that says like, the sushi is good, you eat it and you're like, yeah, this is sushi. Yeah, it's good. It is fine. Like, sushi is always good, you know? Ain't nothing to tweet about. I'm not gonna, right, yeah. I'm not going to tell my mom about this sushi, you know? But I'm going to eat it. It's like sash- all sashimi. It comes, I'm eating it. I get to the salmon first and I'm like, actually, that was really fucking good. Like, hold on. That was really decent. I get to the fucking Maguro, David. I'm not the biggest fan of Maguro. I think it's okay. Mm. But I'm take it or leave it. So I'm looking at this like sashimi maguro. It's big old fucking slices of fucking tuna. It's like, was it, what kind of maguro? Like chitoro? Or is it like the really dark red shit? That one. Yeah. And that one's normally kind of like, ugh, right? It's it's a little bit powerful, yeah. David, it was fucking perfect. Mm. It was like eating fucking avocado. It was creamy. It was delicious. Like I ate it and I was like, hold the fuck. Good, good tuna yeah. is... Insane. The best. Insane. That was like the first time I'd had like good tuna. So I'm like, this is, is this what tuna's meant to taste like? Because if so, it's, this shit's fucking delicious. It's so good. So I'm like, yo, bring more of this tuna. It was fucking sick. She's like, yeah, definitely. Dude, I got so much service in that place. Because they were like, 
where are you from? And I'm like, oh, Tokyo. It's like, oh, you're Japanese? They're like, oh, oh, sorry, London. She's like, hey, London, can I get master? No. I was like, yeah, so Tokyo. It's like, oh, you came from all the way from London? I was like, oh, no, I came from... <laughs> yes, four years ago. Yeah, literally, like, I came from Tokyo, but they weren't listening to me anymore. They're just like, he's come from London. I'm like, bitch, I haven't. Like, there's a lockdown. Like, do you, right. have you heard about the pandemic? Like, I've literally come from down the fucking road. It's a straight line from my house to here. I swear to God. It's a straight fucking line. They won't listen anymore. Like, You've come so far. Here are some free things. And I'm like, I can't. okay. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Slap, slap. It's gonna like wakame, bonito, like dashi and stuff in it. Fucking dank. Mm. This, uh, this fish, dank, was so good. And also, the sweet girls that changed my life, David. Okay, you have to tell me about this because I don't fucking believe you. Okay, so. I'm sure I like a sweet gyoza, but. So for those who like sweet gyoza, like it's like water, water gyoza. L- literally, that is literally, the kanji. Sweet wa- gyoza, water gyoza, water gyoza. So when it comes down to it, y'all know what gyoza is. Gyoza's fucking delicious. Correct. Even bad gyoza is good gyoza. Even when you fuck up the gyoza in the pan, yeah, and you gotta fry it together and eat it with rice, mm-hmm. it's good. Yeah, it's alright. It's good when it's perfect. It's good. Yes, it's good. Sweet gyoza, on the other hand, it's always just kind of okay. Yeah, it's not like I would rather have other stuff in soup. I'd rather have a good soup yeah. than most sweet gyoza. Yeah, and that's the issue. Like, sweet gyoza, the woman was like, okay, try try our sweet gyoza. And I'm like, I know what sweet gyoza is about. It's it's shitty water. <laughs> shitty water. It's like cramp water and dumplings that have been cooked in water. Like, it's okay, but it's yeah. not, like, it's, I'm not hungry for it, you know? Right. This woman brought me cauldron a bucket yeah I, I saw i saw it cauldron of sweet gyoza the soup was like see like that sweet gyoza i can tell is handmade because of the shape yeah it's 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 the regular gyoza shape yeah and not sweet gyoza shape yeah we go yeah it was beautiful it's like this soup was like um this crazy flavor like broth like it mm. wasn't like they didn't just boil it in water it was like right. in a broth like, it was so good. Like, I was just drinking the broth together with rice. Mm. Fucking amazing. She brought, like, this thing of, like, yuzu kosho, like, yuzu pepper mixture thing, for those who don't know. Yuzu kosho was fucking good. Yuzu kosho was fucking life, my boys. Listen, you get a chance to eat some fucking yuzu kosho, do it. Man, I don't remember where it was. It was at a yakitori place I went to. Yeah. And they had, like, uh, momo. Mm. But it was, like, yuzu kosho momo. Oh, hell. It was yes. so fucking Holy good. shit. And I, I can't remember where the fuck I ate this at. That's always annoying. Yeah. Fuck. Dude, that always sucks. It's not good. Dang. Not good. It was good though. But no, I ate a lot. It was really fun. The next day I went to like a temple. Mm-hmm. This story is fun. You know, I always accidentally climb mountains. Sure. It's yeah. It's like the thing I, I, so I, I was going up this mountain. Um, there's meant to be like a chairlift. And I was like, oh, fuck it. I'll hey, ride, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, ride okay. the tram up and then I'll like, uh, I'll take whatever down, you know? Right. Yeah. So I walk up the mountain. I'm not paying attention. And there's two parts, like left and right. And left looked cooler. So I was like, mm-hmm. well, left looks cooler. So I guess I'll just, I'll go up left, I'll circle around. I know the tram thing is like in that direction. Right. I'll just do that, easy. It's like, if I can take the left path, across a bridge, walking through these trees, beautiful fucking path. I'm seeing all these hikes. I'm like, hey guys, like, oh, could you walk, could you walk? I'm talking to some people, hanging out. Everything's grand. Climbing up this mountain, looking for the, the, uh, the tram lift thing. Yeah. And I get to a sign. And it's like, top of the mountain, 15 minutes away. I look at the time and I'm like, I've been climbing this mountain for like an hour now. I'm like, oh shit. I have just accidentally climbed a mountain. I had nothing, David. I had no water. I had like a, a little carton of, of like coffee. Yeah. That was it. And I climbed this entire mountain expecting like to see the tram lift soon. Right. So I, I just kept going. I was like, oh, I'm sure we'll be in a minute now. And I was having so much fun just, like, taking photos, listening to my fucking podcast, and, like, hanging out. I was like, this is fucking chill. What a nice day for a mountain climb, you know? I'll climb half of this mountain to get the, the tram the rest of the day up. And I get to the top, and I'm like, I accidentally just smashed that mountain. I was not prepared for this. So I'm sitting with, like, a coffee, and I'm like, if I planned this out a little bit better, I maybe would have had, like, more snacks or something. Because now I'm pretty fucking hungry. Right. But I was like, I'll drink this coffee, I'll suppress my hunger, I'll jump to the tram down. Easy, right? Yeah. Simple. But I'm take a break first. Take some photos, hang out. So I'm sitting with this man, I'm drinking some coffee. This old couple sits next to me. I'm trying to like set up this tripod so I can take a photo of myself. Yeah. And the dude's like, oh, do you want me to take a photo of you? 
I'm like, oh, not really, because, like, my camera's hard to use. Like, mm. I'm, it's not a phone. I'm using a fucking Canon with, like, a weird lens that has no zoom on it. Like, you've got to, like, angle it yourself. Like, it's a pretty difficult lens to use right. as well. Like, amateurs can't just pick up and shoot. But it's really nice. So I was like, yeah, thanks so much. I really got the picture I wanted anyway. So I was like, yeah, thanks so much, dude. So he gets a photo of me. He's like, oh, great camera, nice. I'm like, oh, thanks, man. Where are you from? Hanging out, normal conversation. I'm talking about the mountain that I accidentally climbed it. He's like, that's hilarious. He's laughing. He's like, oh, did you bring any snacks? Did you have have lunch already? I'm like, yeah. I hold up my coffee. He's looking at me like, what does that mean? He's like, that's your lunch? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, no. He's like, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. So he's so mad at me. He's so (laughs) mad at me for like being ill prepared to climb. He's like, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. it." He turns his wife and he's like to his wife, it's fucking Florence climbing mountains. With just coffee and no water. And she's like, do you have water? And I'm like, I slowly hold up the coffee again. And she's like, damn it, damn it, damn it. They're both so angry at me, David, for being ill prepared for this mountain. This guy, like, goes into his bag, like, pulls out senbei. And he's like, eat this senbei. And I'm like, no, you don't have to do this. And he's like, eat this senbei. I'm at high school. Because like, high, okay. I was like, hi, okay. And I'm like, I'm chilling, like, eating senbei with the dude, like, chatting shit for a bit. And I'm, I'm like, I, I, gotta, I gotta go climb down this mountain. So I can, like, you know, like, eat real food. Right. Chill. Get photos I gotta take as well. So I climbed on the mountain, say goodbye to the dudes. Dude, it was fucking... Dude, it was nice. Like, I love that shit. Like, meeting really nice people, climbing up the mountain is fucking cool. Mm. I accidentally scared some children climbing up the mountain, which is pretty fun. Yeah, whatever. Turning corners, kids running down. Kid ran straight into me, but, like, like, hard. Like, he went... Yeah. And then he looks at me and goes... See him, I said. Ah! Because he looked towards so my He's face. like, oh, shit. He's like, oh, fuck, a foreigner. De- a bear. <laughs> I didn't expect, like... Right. Looks up, sees me from dust back to his mom, and his mom's like, see me, I said. I'm like, tight over you. Dude, it's fucking adorable. Man, I, dude, I... I'm telling you, mountain people, I fucking love it. The sea sucks. Fuck the sea, David. Honestly, I can't do it. Aren't you going, like, fishing? David, you need to still ask me questions. <laughs> Where I am. We're, <laughs> like, November. Yeah. That's gonna be scary. Because that's, like, mid-November. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be kind of cold. A little bit. Yeah, it'll be okay. I, I can't, I've always wanted to go fishing, so... Mm. It'll be fun. But... How was Toyama? Hmm. Hmm. Mama? Was, uh, it was okay. Toyama was, like... So, like, ni- those areas, like, Toyama, Nikata, Akita, Yamanashi, to Everywhere above Tokyo. Yamagata. Yamagata. You say nasi. From the areas I've visited so far, or the places I've heard about that's like above mm-hmm. Tokyo, not a lot of them have like touristy areas. Right. So like when I went to... Because nobody uh, goes there. no one goes there, yeah. So when I was in Niigata, Niigata's really long. So essentially, Niigata can be broken down to three parts. There's the center part, which is the main city. Right. So that's mm-hmm. like um, the fucking the Nihonshu place. There's, like, breweries you can go in for free and drink shit there. You can go to the port. It's boring as fuck, but you can go there. There's a tower, you a, a hotel you can climb. They've got, like, a viewing tower. Okay. Whatever. The city's nice to walk around. People are nice. Drinks are cool. Like, it's a nice little city. Then you go down... South. Yeah. South has a shrine. Yas... What's this fucking shrine called? Ya something something. Ya... I always forget the shrine's name. Yahiko? Yahiko? I'm gonna say don't Yahiko. ask me. I don't fucking know. Dude, I completely forgot the science called. There's this uh, shrine called Yahiko or ya- Yahagi, Yahio, whatever. There's a shrine down south. Yeah. And that's like a big city around that shrine. Mm. Massive toilet gate in the middle of the street. Shit like that. It's- yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that picture too. That's cool as fuck. So there's a bunch of that stuff to the south. Yeah. There's like, if you go more south as well, there's more like nature stuff to see. Mm. And then there's like way up north. And that's a different end. That's more mountainous. Okay, there's yeah, like, yeah. Uh, onsens, yorkans. But the problem is, because they're all so far away from each other, you can't do, like, main city, then go down to south, then go up north. Right, yeah, because... Well, Niigata's long, right? Long, dude, yeah. Yeah. Same as, same as like, Aomori Ken. Aomori Ken, yeah. It's also very long. Very long. It's a case that you need to decide, what do I want to do beforehand? <laughs> Which direction do I want to travel? Honestly, yeah, I decided down, so I just went down the entire time. Mm-hmm. But if you're going to go, like, if you suddenly decide I want to go up, like I want to do something up north, you literally can't. Right. Like it'll take you hours to get back up north. Even if you're driving, I was looking at driving as well. It was like, nope, it, this is going to take your time, boy. Yeah. Like it's, it's, it's a lot, dude, honestly. 
I think this is why like I hadn't visited Niigata or Toyama or those areas and such in like my entire time being here mm-hmm. so I was like this is gonna be a, com- a fucking ball break to an travel. absolute shit show absolute ball break. and it is hard I went to um so Toyama did the bus mm-hmm. there yeah that was fun that was like being in a student all over again so we bus down to Toyama yeah man that bus it was early morning bus for coffee um I'm on the I'm on like the bus I'm watching TV I'm drinking this coffee yeah the bus driver was fucking funny I liked him a lot cause I I I didn't have a coffee yet. Mm-hmm. So the bus came, so I throw my bag in the bus and I'm like, hey, can I, I said to the bus driver, can I, can I grab a coffee real quick? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, if I get back late, would you go without me? And he's like, oh God, no. He's like, go, grab a coffee. Come back whenever. I'm like, what if I was 10 minutes late? He's like, I'll wait 10 minutes. And I was like, why are you so nice? And he's like, it's not every day you see a Japanese speaking foreigner. I was like, I'm glad you're straight with me. What? Like, I'm glad you're fucking straight. You're like, hey man, hey, every day you get to drive a random Japanese speaking foreigner. <laughs> I'll, to just, fucking... I'll just drive five kilometers faster. Yo, exactly. I'll just break the fucking speed limit. Fuck it, dude. Who's gonna stop me? The police. The fucking police. The countryside police. Yeah, the, the countryside bikes. police. Fucking oi, man. They can't do. Come on. Yeah, exactly. Do? It was really cool. We we, spoke, we actually spoke for a while before the bus left. Then when he arrived, we spoke for a little bit as well, like in Toyama. Mm. He was really nice. Like, we spoke about like, his family and shit. At the the break, it's like one break in that drive. It's like a four hour drive. Three, yeah. Four hour drive. Like two, one... two and two. Yeah, two and two is like one break. I spent the entire time like playing Super Mario Sunshine and watching TV. It was fucking sick. How and... are you watching TV? Laptop. Ah, uh, okay. The bus had Wi Fi, David. Yeah, I, that makes sense. I was fucking shocked. I didn't expect this. Like years ago when I was first like riding buses between prefectures, like none of these buses had Wi Fi. Mm. Like you were fucked. Like, that was it. Yeah, if you didn't have what you need on your laptop, it's just kind You're of... You're fucked. I remember going from Tokyo to, like, Osaka. Mm-hmm. And just being... And there's, like, the JR Wi-Fi you go on the bus. Yeah. And it, would, it would say, like, you can use this Wi-Fi for, for half an hour. Half an hour or an hour, yeah. And that is it. Like, a, like, a, like the weird public Wi-Fi, right? Yeah, but yeah. on the bus. Yeah. It was mm-hmm. so strange. I was like, who... Why are you letting me use this Wi-Fi for half an hour? It... D- d- yeah, this it's kind of like shit, nine right? It's a nine-hour bus ride. It's not that bad, but it's a long-ass bus ride. What yeah. the fuck? Honestly, what the fuck? Fuck you guys. Like, shit. Fuck. But yeah, the the bus had Wi-Fi. So I was, like, watching movies and shit, talking to the bus driver, hanging out, drinking coffee. It was fun. Toyama? Uh. Uh. Uh, it was okay. Wouldn't go back. Mm. The city is kind of like a one-day thing. Right. So I made a mistake, and it was my mistake. So I, got, I get to Toyama throw my bags in the hotel and I'm like do I go to the the castle is close to the hotel so I was like I'm gonna go to the castle and then it was like do I go to the station and take a train yeah. down to this other city like an hour away yes and see that castle and that like big Buddha they have there yeah or do I take the tram to the port and see the port and I thought to myself do you know what I already saw a castle mm-hmm I did mountains already in Niigata. Let me go to the port. Big mistake. What the fuck's there to do at a port? It's a working port as well. Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah. So there wasn't. I saw some fucking sick ass hawks. I saw a ton of cats. That made my day. Mm. But it's a port, a working port. That. Yeah. Like. Eh. Also, fucking trams in Toyama fucking suck. Let me. Cool. <laughs> this sounds this sounds like some trauma. Let's oh, uh man, was, let's continue. I'm actually pulling up my Twitter because I tweeted about this and I'm gonna read you the exact tweet I made. Mm-hmm. Sean I, Sean David, I was fucking pissed. I'm s- oh, still I was fuming. It's fucking toy ever trams. So like I love trams, they're so interesting. Mm-hmm. Like there's no trams in the UK. I rarely see them. So when I do see Canada trams Canada definitely does not have trams. Canada? No. Nah, there's no trams there. Okay. Definitely not. This is my tweets. Ready? I'm going to read you on my... I'm going to read you... I'm fucking rolling up my sleeves. Read okay. Tweet. Stop me at any time. So I said... <clears throat> this was just after it happened. So I was fuming. I got off the tram and I was tweeting this. So I go... Yeah. Tram system in Toyama is stupidly hilarious. Alright. One, you can't use fucking pass mode. I rode buses in the mountains in damn Shikoku that had except pass mode. Why is there no pass mode on these fucking trams? Like, I, I beat my pass mode on the thing, dude. 
And the guy's like, oh, we don't accept personal. I'm like, my man. Okay. What? Where are you living? David, buses in the countryside accept pass mode. Like, it's like Oyster Card, basically. Is there is like a card in Canada you guys use? No. Oh, guys. There might be now. I, I haven't been back in four years, so. Uh, I'm gonna say, 100% possible. The trams, yeah? The mm-hmm. trams don't give you change. Okay. You have to have exact money. So there's like a change machine. Okay. They don't give you change? They don't give you... You gotta have exact money. So there's a change machine, yeah? That's connected to the same machine as the machine that you put your money in to pay for the journey. Okay. So you could have, if I have 500 yen, so the tram costs 210 yen. So if I have 500 yen coin, I could have put the coin in the change machine slot first, get the change out, and then find, if I don't have enough change, that's exact 210 yen, I've got to keep feeding, feeding coins it until, until you I get have enough the exact change. change, then dump the exact change into the machine. But the machine and the change machine are one machine. So right. it looks like it will give you change. So I had 300 yen. And the guy fucking saw me put money into the machine. Take 300 yen. Put it into the fucking coin thing. And then wait for my change. And only then did this motherfucker say to me, Oh, the machine doesn't give change. And I'm like, why are you just telling me now? I was like, did you not see me pick up 300 yen and put it in? I was like, you, you are literally watching me do this. Oh, he knew. He fucking knew, and he's got a little book out, and he's like, oh, I can, like, um... And I'm like, my man, you literally watched me overpay by 90 yen, and you were like, not gonna fucking help this foreigner. I'm gonna leave him. I'm, I'm staring daggers at this man, and I'm like, you saw me do Sleep this. Sleep his own devices. And you didn't even tell me. Why, why would... By this stage, I was already fuming. I was like... Yeah, I'd be fucking mad, too. I was bad, David. I was... I was mad only because, like, the way he said it as well, like, he just got, like, as as I dropped the coins in, he goes, it doesn't give change. I'm like, fuck you, fuck this place, <laughs> pissed. Man, I'm so sleepy. You tired? Dude, pissed. Fucking pissed. But yeah, I wasted 400 yen on a fucking tram. And then I had to take another tram back, and I was like, I wish I could walk instead, but it's really far away. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and... oh, tram sucks. Like, the... This, the tram system sucks, though. Like, it's horrible. Absolutely fucking horrible. I, I mean, that's why most of the places probably you drive a car. Mm. I think you have to. Yeah. I think you have to drive. If you're going all the way down to, like, Toyama, you have to drive a car. Like, it's so difficult to get around about it. Mm-hmm. I mean, I made some friends in the prefecture while I was there. And a lot of them were like, if you come back, we'll drive you around. Mm. So I was like, well, that's better. That's, like, right. way more fun. But just, like, um... Getting bus and train everywhere is exhausting. Like, my hotel had an onsen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, onsen, dude! You like onsens, don't you? Never been to one. David. Yeah, like, legit, actually. David. I mean, I, that's not true. David. I mean, technically, I have. I've been to an onsen in Canada. That doesn't count, David. They, they have... It's the exact same thing. Minus Japanese. But is it, David? Could, no, could, not at all. Could you feel zero percent? Could you feel the there was wa- no milk? Is there no milk? There's no milk. Fuck. <laughs> None. A really drunk man entered my onsen while I was in the bath. Look, That's how you die. Yo, yeah, yeah. I left. I was like, man, this, man, <laughs> this body's not gonna be on my hands. No, not on my hands, dude. I was like, this guy dies in his onsen. I'm, I'm, I'm being arrested first. That was definitely the foreigner. He probably injected him with alcohol. Right. Fucking. Plus. You don't want to be an onsen of a dead body. That's how you get cursed. Yep. <laughs> That's, how you get... That's how you turn to a girl or a panda. <laughs> or a panda. <laughs> Speaking of that, I was watching that show last night. <laughs> what a fucking reference. <laughs> Dude, that's how you get fucking cursed, let me tell you. There's one thing I know about Japan. Send me a message if you understand that reference. Oh my god, if you understand that reference, fucking come on. The place I was in Niigata yeah. had Nihonshu cups with that anime on it. Oh, really? Yeah. Why? <laughs> I don't know. I was gonna buy it, but I was like, no, this is, this is, mm. this is not, it's not that cool. I, I think I've con- converted Chihiro to that show. No we, way. We ordered pizza. Yeah. Oh. And we Because, we're... because the, the, the cocaine pizza? No. This is, this is like some weak ass shit pizza. Oh, it's not dude, even good. Come on. Um. But no, so we're like, let's watch TV while we eat pizza. Nice. And I'm like, oh, 
put this on. I'm like, we'll just watch one episode. Five episodes later. You liar. You fucking Five episodes liar. later. Yeah. Still watching it. Of course. Show's great. Dude, it's such a good I show. I haven't seen it. I've never watched it in Japanese. I've only ever seen the English dub. Is it good? Yeah. The Japanese is pretty good. That reminds me of like Yu Hawk show and stuff like that as well. Mm. You never watch one episode. Or JoJo. No. Yeah, you just don't watch a episode. You watch it. Yeah. <laughs> All of it. You watch the whole thing. Fuck me. You didn't get the good ass pizza? What the fuck? It's no Pizza Hut close. Oh, man. I mean, there is, but it's like half an hour away. Ugh. I could order from there. No. You gotta pick up. Yeah, it's about half an hour away. I'd have to actually literally ride the train to go pick up the pizza, and nah, that's, that's not. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, so the, the cocaine pizza is. Um, did, we have, did we explain this last time? Yeah, I think we talked about it. Yeah, you should the know. The fucking Q it... Calvi pizza. Holy. I've been thinking about that pizza for two weeks now. I'm still thinking about that pizza. It, That's why I ordered pizza, and then it didn't... It didn't hit it, it did didn't, it? It didn't hit the same way that that pizza hit. That pizza hit so bad. Like... Yeah. I'm not a man who eats a lot of pizza. Me either. And that pizza hit so good, I was like, hold on. Am I, am I about to convert? Am I whatever religion this pizza is now? Because I think I am. It's fucking good. I think there was, I think there was drugs on that pizza. I think that possibly was, I there think had to have there been. had to have been like the guy he looked to me he said something in Japanese I think it was like you know I must start but it could have been there's cocaine in that pizza I mean I'm not entirely sure <laughs> there's <laughs> methamphetamines on this pizza <laughs> it was like, I was like he was like there's meth in that I was like, what was that he's like Arigato gozaimashita I was like, that's what I fucking thought you said <laughs> that's what I fucking thought my man he's like do you like he meth? knows he doesn't want you to commit crimes listen I'm not gonna commit a crime for the pizza right but if the pizza told me to, do it. but if the pizza told me to do it, Wait, you... the demons in my head told me to do it. If the demons in my head told me to do it. I'm not gonna listen to them, David. I'll fucking do it again. I'll fucking do it again. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's a fucking reference, dude. I'll do it uh, again. God dang it. I right, we going... over an hour. Fuck. Questions. Want to hit some questions? Did we there get were, some questions. There were some. Yeah. All right. Let me. That song is stuck in my head since she said. <laughs> Fuck. Hold on. Alright, let's do... Mail time. If you have questions, please send them in to the Instagram at Tokyo Fresh Podcast, on Twitter at Tokyo Fresh Pod, and at our email, Tokyo Fresh Podcast at gmail.com. Uh... Jordan, do you have the first question? I do. I got a question from Ozakimu. Ozakimo. Uh, the best gachapon you actually bought and didn't regret. That's a pretty good. <laughs> the, one. the best gachapon you've ever. I think this was in response to the fact that I posted the picture of of gachapon that just said like what? It, I don't even remember what the picture said. Hold up. Uh, yes. where is it? Oh, this thing's eye patch. Yes, Chunibyo eye patch. Like it's literally like yeah, Chunibyo eye patch is what it was. Um, I have never bought Gashapon in my fucking life. Have not, you not a once. Not a once. Is Gacha the thing you put money and you twist it to get the, the present? Get the ball in the thing and uh-huh. yeah. Uh-huh. I've never, I've never bought one. No way, seriously. Never. Why not? Uh, just nothing has interested me enough to go and buy one. Mm-hmm. What's the one thing? Mm. Oh. I have one. The only gachapon I bought that I didn't ever regret was, mm. um, oh, it was two actually. Okay. So one was like, you know, the mailbox, the Yubin Kyoku sign? Yes. It was that and it lights up. Ooh. Sick. The other one was like a store sign that has a magnet on it. It sticks to my door and it was for snack good. <laughs> David, and it nice. lights. Nice. And it lights up. Okay. Sweet. It's fucking sick. Those are the only ones I like. The cool, like, realistic, like, tiny things of, like, yes. little things. Yes. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That light up. I, I ain't it here has to, to light up. I ain't here to fucking buy like cheap Dragon Ball Chachkis. They look like, like shit. Like I don't want them. They don't. They don't look good. I only want things that look like smaller things or bigger things that light up. That's all I. <laughs> that's a very specific <laughs> gesture. It's form. so. It's, it's the only thing I want. Like in everyone. Fair. Knows that's it. fair. I'm like, so you know, this massive like gotcha rose. I'm always looking yeah. for that one thing. I'm like, oh, or like little like coffee things. But even then I'm like, eh, take it or leave it. But if that shit's a, a smaller thing of a bigger thing that exists in real life and also lights up, 
fucking put I'm shoving and jamming that fucking do, machine do you have, so hard. Do you have snacks still on your door? Snacks? Snack, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, it's on my door, yeah. Yeah, it's on That's my door. That's Dude, it's so good. As, as you come <laughs> in, it's like inside my fucking door. It's just, sometimes I turn and I'm like, uh, we out. We're out here to party, boys. Let the old men come in. Let the fucking parade of old dicks crush through my fucking house. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to ask the next one Go uh, out of order here just because it's related to the last question. Go We're going to ask the question from uh, Ziggymon99. He says, mm. what's the best gashapon machine you've seen? Small things are bigger things. <laughs> <laughs> um... Well, there's that sex toy one that sells like tiny sex toys. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah, seen I've seen I've seen one that sells like um, panties. Oh, I've seen one. I Calabra. have a, I have e, that I, I haven't like physically seen it, mm. but I've seen someone like take a picture of it. Mm. Uh, I have though. Uh, hang on, I'm just zipping through here to to find the pictures a long time ago. Uh, I, the Osaka one. Yeah, it was in Osaka. Uh, do I have another picture of it? I don't. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I have one. I I want to I want to read you what the 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 fucking message says though on on, on the, the, thing, on the thing. Okay, here it is. Uh, erokute, kimo, erosugiru. What the fuck? Mono ga. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, disgusting. It's like, how do you like, like super sexual, too sexual? It's like, gacha toys. It's sexual. Too, too sexual. sexual. <laughs> but it's, erosugiru mono ga dekima. Detekimas. So, two sexual things will come out. Of this, of this thing. Lame gutta thing. Imagine you put money in it, you fucking twist that thing, and just like a warm can of like corn soup comes out. And you're like, oh man, this is not what I expected it to be. Fuck. Would you drink that? D- drink it? What do you mean? The warm can of corn soup that comes out of this machine. Of corn soup? Yeah. That's. It's not, it's not corn soup, my friend. Man, it's a risk. Are you willing to take <laughs> it? No. If I, want cor- <laughs> if, I want, if I want corn soup. I'll, I'll fucking uh, I'll fucking go to a regular vending machine like in a month and buy corn soup. It's like straight no, bro. You <laughs> ain't gonna risk it. Nope. That's that's like that's like uh, in the same family as street beer. Oh man, street beer is fucking just sick, don't. dude. Oh yeah, you saw the mystical street beer recently. Yes. Nice. And I went back and it multiplied. There was two. Was that in two the, in the same spot? So there's oh. one. I went home, and then I walked by the next day, and there's one right next to it. They're multiplying. Yeah. We can't have this. They're, they're breeding. They're breeding. Hold on, I got the next one. B-Boy Dixon asks, uh, Japan announced opening up borders again. Who do you not want to come? Everyone. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I was going <laughs> to say literally everyone. Yeah, everyone. Everyone, but also more specifically, uh, Olympics. Please don't come. You're very uh, I was gonna, I was going to say uh, Chinese tourists. Ah, uh, yeah, I get that. Not because they're Chinese, just because there's so many of them. There are there are a bunch of them. There's too many Chinese tourists. Mm-hmm. They should they should limit the amount. There are too many tourists. We should have a ticket system like Japan has with everything else in this country. <laughs> you got a you got a tourism lottery. Tourism lottery. Oh, dude, hell yeah. Yeah. Tourism fucking lottery, and you're not allowed to go to Kyoto. That's a separate lottery. Yep. There's a complete separate lottery. You can only go to Tokyo. Yokohama Bay, only the bay. If I fucking catch you in Chinatown, there's gonna be fucking words to be had. Unless also, you're running a business. Unless you're running a business, then you know, go for it. You can have one more place, you go to Saga. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> why Saga? Fuck Saga, that's why. <laughs> nah, I'd send them to like fucking like Miyagi or somewhere like way far Who away. Who needs money? You can go to Ibaraki. Ibaraki needs you money. You go to Iwate. Gifu. Gifu. You can go to... Anywhere that isn't where I live. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Pretty much. Or that I'm about to go to or I'm going to. Yeah. I want to bubble around myself that... <laughs> it is It is a no-fly zone. No 
fucking no tourist zone. I want to go somewhere and everyone to be like, wow, you're the first tourist side in two weeks. And I'm like, yeah, there's a reason for that. <laughs> That's on purpose. The middle I leave. Did, I did killed you, everyone Did else. you not hear us just fucking playing Prince Ali? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> did you not see the Japanese did you, man? Did you get the memo? Did you not get the fucking memo? How much money he spent on this? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, like, realistically, for me, it, it's it's literally everyone yep. and Chinese tourists. Yeah. And that sounds real racist, nah. but it's not really. It's just, there's too fucking many tourists. Man, I've heard some racist things being said since Corona started. So oh, yeah. We, Fuck. We, we ain't gonna bring them up. There's tons. Fuck me. Japan, calm down. But, yeah. Um, Turns out, Japan, don't like China. Don't like China. I don't know why. It's great. The food's good. Fuck. Yep. I mean, I'm not going to go because of the human rights abuses. I don't really want to put my money into that economy. But, yeah. Like... <laughs> Did you see um, the fucking, I forget who it was, like, the, the Chinese ambassador to America. He should be like, you guys are treating China real bad in your trade deals and enough is enough. And I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? Mate. Have you seen what your country's doing? Like, I don't think you have, like, a moral leg to stand on talking about, like, oh, you're you're bullying us, and that's real bad. Like, the fuck Bro, are you talking about? you bullying an entire fucking race of people. You can't yeah. do this. Yeah. You can't. You, you, can't, you can't make that claim and be like, ah, oh, well, you guys are being a bunch of meanies. Listen, guys, like, yeah, yeah, this ain't third grade, and also, you're a fucking abusive nation. Like, right. you can't do that. You can't, yeah. you can't in one hand, like fucking limit information in the entire fucking big ass country almost a continent of people yeah on the other hand be like uh we want better trade deals um you're not buying our rice for enough and um could you stop trying to ban tiktok please thank you we'll you. only put half of them as plastic beads come on huh yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah. that's literally now i have a speech from the chinese ambassador stop it <laughs> stop it get out get out <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! That was the Chinese ambassador with his feet. Thank you very much. It'll be, it'll be yeah. analyzed, analyzed in the future. Sorry, I was, I was watching H three before you, before you came. Dude, fuck yeah. Fucking uh, little Zan. Yeah. Get out! Get out! Fuck yeah! Dude. Uh, fuck yeah! Okay. Um. Oh my god. Last question. Uh, small. Oh, we got two more. We got this one, one more. Oh, okay. Small weird loves says. Um, could you guys please talk about the giant Gundam? Um, the new one that they built that can fucking move around if I shit. do I'll have to kill you I will have to kill you <laughs> listen it, it can move it, it's fucking sick dude I don't even know exactly where it is I it's close it's um it's like one or two stations away from mm. Chinatown mm. and yeah it's it can move dude. which the other ones cannot do it dude. can it can kneel we're getting there Gundams will be real within my lifetime. In Japan. I mean, they're already real, but like. I know what you mean, yeah. Actual ones. Japan is about to do some shit, dude. I'm telling you. Do you see? I saw a really funny tweet where someone was basically like, uh, like a robot like this that's really top heavy is gonna be fucking useless because, like, a missile from an F1 fighter jet in America is gonna. <laughs> was his entire, like, argument. And I'm reading this argument and I'm like, um, it's a giant robot. Like, are you not seeing this? That it's a giant robot? Like, do you not think it's gonna have its own missiles as well? Like, or sure. like a defense system of some kind. You know what I'm saying, dude? When it comes down to it, it's gonna have a sword. Like, the fuck? What do you... What do you... Like, you... The fuck? You honestly think that, like, people would build a giant war machine and then not know... Well, planes could shoot missiles at it. Yeah, no shit. No so shit. So that's why you have, like... There's stuff that they built onto, like, warships mm. and other things that mm. are, like concentrated laser beams yeah that just you shoot it at the missile and it fucking blows up or flat cannons which yeah. literally just shoot shrapnel into yeah. the air and they blow up sick. missiles yeah it's fucking sick it's a fucking robot it'll have goddamn shields you fucking pleb have you never shield. read science fiction read a book read a book fuck sakes read a book it's a giant robot we're breaking you also down. uh it's gonna be piloted by a new type who's also <laughs> psychic <Fuck> so <laughs> I mean, realistically, he'll already kill you before you fire the missile because he knew you were going to fire the missile. So, dude, fuck you. Dude, fuck off. <laughs> That's such a good argument. That's such a... Do that, yeah, if you're going to argue... Don't, about... don't argue with me about Gundams because I'll fucking <laughs> prove you wrong. It's like David's topic. Bitch, you don't know shit about psycho frames. You don't know shit. Man, that Gundam had lasers coming out of its fingertips. 
you gonna beat the god Gundam? God's in its name. Yeah. <laughs> it can literally shoot a man. Other Gundams pray to the gun. How are you gonna sh- beat God of robots? <laughs> <laughs> Don't even get me started. His about G Gundam. His little arm is so strong. How are you gonna beat me? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, dude. I, I really want Japan to like build its own robot army. Mm. It'd be fucking sick. It'd be so good. That that's how they get around the the loophole of like you can only have a standing army of X amount of people. So they just give oh. everyone a Gundam. They just give everyone a. It's fucking like you can Gundam. only have an army of two thousand people. It's like okay, uh, but we're gonna have two thousand Gundams. So fuck you. Fuck you, bro. Imagine having like two thousand fucking. No one would. 18 meter tall Gundams. Who the fuck's gonna fight Japan with gu- a Gundam army? Holy shit, that's cool, dude. Man, that's an instant loss. Mm. That's like, you're playing a game of chess, and the guy, like, you like, you move the fucking white pawn two bases forward, and the guy puts a gun on the table. <laughs> it's like, well, I've lost this game of chess, haven't I? It's like, yeah, you kind fucking of. have. Playing snakes and ladders, the guy, like, brings a dog, and he's like, well, go, hold, on, hold on a minute. Also, I think it's real funny that it's like, oh, well... You know, a jet can shoot a missile at the Gundam. It's like, clearly you haven't watched Gundam. Uh, 90% of those Gundams have giant ass, like, 40 no. meter thick shields. Yeah, dude. Just, oh, yeah, the big old slabs of metal. Yeah. Fuck, you just, yeah, you just shoot a missile through that? No, you aren't. I love, like, I would love to see, like, an American jet fight, like, a Gundam with a big old shield and shit. Yeah, they do it in the show. So uh, it doesn't fucking work. It work. Turns out. Turns out, laser sword beats fucking jet. <laughs> Turns out, I don't even have to hit you with the laser. I just have to get close, and you fucking explode because it's so hot. Oh, because the fucking shields of the, uh, yeah. the Gundam. Yeah, like, Man. if I shoot a laser from a 18 meter tall fucking Big old cannon. gun, Hell yeah, right? Dude. The heat that's around that beam is so hot... I don't even need to hit the plane. Oh, I have to shoot. Yeah. I have to shoot in a general direction, and you will fucking explode Man. because the fuel in your jet will ignite. I want. I really hope they build this Gundam to be similar to like the Burning Gundam, the God Gundam. <laughs> Where I want to shoot a giant shoot flaming a fist. Giant fucking flaming. I want to have laser in his fucking fingers, just like pew 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 pew. Fucking sick. Like North Korea launches a missile. Japan's like send the Gundam. <laughs> There's like send there- one Gundam. <laughs> There's a there's a fucking scene in 8th MS team where like they're trapped on a mountain yeah. and they're like we need water mm. or we're going to die and it's too fucking cold here cuz it's like in the middle they're like in like the middle of like the Himalayas or some shit. Yeah. So the guys in his gun and he just goes, "Oh, I'll just make water." He pulls out the fucking laser sword, My flips way. it upside down and just goes and melts all the ice in like 10 seconds and then he just has a hot spring. He's like, "There you go. Water." done like a Gundam can solve all the problems pretty much every fuck the only thing that beats Gundams is other Gundams it's true it's like a game of rock paper scissors where gun is also included yes only gun and beats gun gun beats gun gun beats gun nothing else beats gun scissors no rock no Better. rock maybe no gun rock if you, get, if you get a lucky shot with that rock. That's true. You, you, you better be fucking yeah. Bruce Lee with that fucking rock, my dude, because... Like, guy with gun has to realize what you're not, you know, not know what you're doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. What I would do is that the guy would have a gun, and I'd be like, rock, this is now shoot him before he has the chance to pull out his gun, mm. and then I win this fucking Texas Hold'em game of rock, scissors, paper, gun. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the old, the old rock, scissors, paper, gun, a Japanese classic. <laughs> Guy with the gun in you looks like we have a Mexican standoff. <laughs> Just immediately shoots me. Immediately you. shoots me. <laughs> it's like fucking Indiana Jones, the Muslim guy with the fucking sword. <laughs> so much, yeah. And oh. then just turns around. I want the exact same thing, but I'm gonna gun him. And it's like just like panned into the guy. Like you just you're close into the guy's eyes and he's like, it's like we got a fucking Mexican standoff here. He like pulls his gun and shoots me. Fucking zooms out. I'm in a giant robot. <laughs> just fucking shoot him with like a nuke. <laughs> just leaves a <his> giant <laughs> crater. crater. <laughs> I miss, but he dies anyway. <laughs> Pretty much. But technically, because of the rules of the game, I technically lose because he yeah. hit me and I missed. But he's dead. <laughs> I'm like, well, those are the rules. Yep. Okay. G- give him the prize. He won. Yeah, dude. We got one more question. Oh, you had one more question. Uh, I didn't see this question. Oh, this is actually on. I think you did some Mayday Sand on Twitter. Uh, 
he asked, like, how do I know when my Japanese is legitly jozu? Uh, and you I, said you had an answer for this. I actually have an answer for that. Like, so my entire thing is that people will say to you, it's like, your Japanese is good. Your Japanese is good. Your Japanese is good. And it doesn't mean your Japanese is good. It just means, like, I have nothing to say right now. So, right. Tori has this. So I'm going to be like, the level up from that is, none then. Hmm. That's the next level. How, how many years have you lived in Japan? How many years have you lived in Japan is the next level up. So I've not been Nihongo Jozu in ages. I w- it's it's that or where are you from? Like oh, like with the like the confused look yes. like the fuck? I get so the, I think we must have discussed it before. The levels are it goes Nihongo jo- your Japanese is good, Nihongo Jozu. That means like uh you're learning, good luck. Level up from that is which is like how many years have you living in Japan for? That's pretty fucking good. And then depending on like what you look like, mm. you'll get sushi what? Or you'll get <laughs> Or you have. There we go. Half of this guy? Half of uh, half of this guy? You get that. Like you half Japanese, my boy? Is that, is that, is that, is that the Japanese is good? I'm currently like somewhere between Nihon Nanden and half of this guy. I'll I'll sometimes get like how long have you living in Japan? Or I'll get, you have Japanese, my man. And I'm like, nah, 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 dog. Fucking. Studying. <laughs> that's it. Like, that's, that's the whole fucking. Read a book. Read a book. I, I think it's books that I'm using. What do you get? I, I assume people know that you're not half Japanese and also that you're not, uh, yeah, Japanese. Yeah. In your schools, they know you're from here. Did mm. they ask you, like, how long you've been in Japan for in your schools? Oh, multiple times. Yeah, I thought so, yeah. People are always like, is this your first year? And I'm like, no. I've been here for like three. I'm like, I wonder, I wonder though, if, if they're asking, is this my first year at this school? Uh, they, they never specify in the question. They just go, is this your first year? And I go, yeah. where? Doing what? In a suit in Japan? Yeah. In school? Wearing this, shoes? This is, the, this is the problem with Japanese. There's no, There's no nani nani what in that sentence. Yeah. So I have no idea what the fuck one year you're referring to. Japan, the school. Yeah. Because I don't know if they're a teacher that has just come to this school as well. Mm. So they're like, oh, how long have you been at this school? this school? So I have no idea. I was explaining to my friend, like, oh, she had like a fucking revelation. We were hanging out talking. And I was explaining that basically English wants context. I need to know what mm. you're talking about. When you're talking about all it. the time, yeah, all the time, you can't just jump in to conversation in English. It doesn't work that way. So I had a bunch of sentences, and I was like, in English, which one is correct? I was like, like, what did I say? I went, um, Nigata ikimashita. Like, I went to Nigata, and mm. also, oh, Nigata ita watashi. I went to Nigata. I was like, in English, which of these sentences is okay? And she's like, mm, the first one. I'm like, no. She's like, mm, the second one. I'm like, no, none. The correct sentence is mm. That's that's what I want in English. I want I went to Nigata. I don't want ni, Me Me Ni Nigata went. Me ni, Nigata? Nigata? <laughs> it doesn't yeah. fucking work that way. Like there, there's very there's a lot of Japanese sentences that are like if you if you like directly translate them to English, they just sound like a caveman. Oh yeah. Me eat you? Me yes. eat now? Now? Now no. you me. eat? Nigata? <laughs> Before you eat? Yes. Question mark? Yes. Before we eat together? Like, it, yeah. it's it's very interesting. So when you do tr- try to translate things one-to-one, that's where a lot of these mistakes come into it. So it's pretty fun, like, talking to, like, beginners of English and being mm. like, no, we, we need the whole sentence. We want the... In- we're, se- we're a selfish group. Give us all the information. All of it. We yes. want all of it. So whenever you think, like, how much of this sentence does Jordan want, remember the answer is... All of it. Yeah. I mean, that, that, that's a byproduct of Japanese being, or not Japanese, of English being so direct. Yeah. And and people like, people who don't speak English yeah. are uh, often like, they, they feel like English people are very direct, but that's because English always has yeah. a subject, a verb, verb, an object, and an object very- every single time, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. It, it's just... I, I need that information to make sense of what the fuck's going on. Oh, and all the information. So yeah. my friend asked me once, she's like, do you like this? And I'm like, what? 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 She had nothing in her hands. Ski? Go to ski. She had nothing in her hands. Yeah, right. There was nothing around. She's like, do you like this? And I'm like, do I like what? She's like, this. And I'm like, what? Yeah. Like, oh, like, yakisoba. I was like, how do we get to yakisoba, bitch? 
Where? Yeah, what are you, what are you talking about? Like, yeah, when when someone asks you a question that's just koretsuki, like right, just like or soretsuki, what the fuck is kore or sore? This and that. Yeah, okay, no, but it. there's literally four hundred items in this fucking room that you could possibly be talking about. I start sweating because I had the wrong answer. It could have been life or death. Yeah, exactly. Like, right. Do you like this? And I'm like, maybe is always the correct <laughs> answer. Mm, Tabu. Kana, kana, mm, ma. Ma, because if you, if you if you start with the ma, you can mm, always get ma. better. Yeah. Oh, you don't like Benny Shop? Oh, that's and good. The, oh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 okay, that's good. That's some good side. Yeah, actually, you know, I've, ch- no, I've, yeah. I've just changed my mind. It's really good. I like it. Yoku Matsuya wa taksan wa tabita. Man, I was bad. For- <laughs> I was bad for Matsuya, dude. Come on. Yeah. Do you like Matsuya? I mean, you could do. You could almost say criminally. Yeah, three hours long. Table use. Sat there. But. You know, you know, you know, あとで、なんだっけ。あとで、警察は来ましたわ。なんで?なんで警察を来ました?ちょっと<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Sorry, for those who don't speak Japanese, that's fucking funny. <laughs> it's like, bro, it's like, bro, it was so, I'm just sitting in the fucking Ayashina. Matsuya eating, eating fucking Benny Shogo for three hours. The police came and what? You can't do that. Oh, this fucking Benny Shogo. Come on, of course, it's, fucking, it's delicious. Of course, I can't. It's not a crime. It's, it's a crime, crime to love Benny Shogo. <laughs> Succulent Benny Shogo <laughs> meal. A <laughs> suck. Done. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck yeah. me. What's the end of this oh, week's episode? Shit. Yeah, everyone fuck off. I love you all. I'll see y'all next week. Follow my Instagram, you know, after yep. Japan. Follow our Instagram to look at fresh Twitter as well. Please do. You're making some good tweets. I'm gonna go home and play Apex. Instagram. Mm-hmm. Twitter. Mm-hmm. Discord. Cool. Ooh. I want to see you there. I want to see you fucking there. The Discord is fun. Jump us in, join us mm. in, talk some conversations. It's always really fun. I'm in it more now. Good. Uh, Did you, you have it on your phone now? Is that why? Yeah, I have it on my phone now. So I'm constantly on it, like chatting shit. Mm. Fucking fun. All right. Good, good move. Good. Nice. See you next week. Oh.